Sam turned around on the first day of rehearsals and said, oh, I, th I think we should do the whole thing on a live piano. And at first it was pretty terrifying because I thought I had this epic story to tell and you have to do all this just on a piano. But then it soon became obvious that was a brilliant idea. And we got Canada, who's playing the piano, into rehearsals pretty early on. I just thought it sounded amazing. A show with only three actors and a piano, just something I'd never done before. It was a really amazing process. I think I was in from week two and I was in pretty much full time, which meant that I saw the music grow. The piano was plugged into a computer, so if anything interesting was happening, I could just hit record. And then Canada is supremely good at helping me decode what I've recorded and turning that into some sort of manageable score. We were constantly changing things and there was new music all the time, which was exciting and brilliant. Uh, one of the things I think I thought really early on and it did stay in there was that the music has to pull in two directions. Throughout the piece, they, they, they refer back to their roots, which is Rimpar Bavarian. They decided to observe all the rules of Shiva and Schlausche, just as they did in Germany, all the rules as if they were in Rimpar Bavarian. And I found this old folk tune called Raisins and Almonds, which is actually based on an old lullaby. And it's also a very simple, obviously European melody. I thought, well, this has the sort of simplicity that it can be the sort of leitmotif that kind of is the callback to their roots. The winning card is that one. And he wins. Chance? No. Strategy. And the business grew. I think the, the card player is really fun to play, which is the piece that follows Philip as he's building the business of the Lehman Brothers in New York. The music helps with that movement that they're doing, but also responds to how Philip uses the knowledge that he gains through that to build the business. So it's constantly changing with the dialogue and it's really fun to play. Canada is very interactive with what the actors are doing on stage. And it's sort of playful and it hopefully has this vaudevillian kind of aspect. The winning card is that one. And he wins. The rest of the piano music kind of grows and we, we follow the timeline of the piece so that by the end we have a lot of effects on the piano. It's also the momentum forward as the business builds, as New York builds, as America builds, as the years go by. I felt there had to be some music that sort of represented the sort of relentless march of the industrial world and then the kind of financial world. So have a kind of propulsion that was almost like a monster that was drawing them forwards. It's not like a play in the traditional sense. It's like a grand act of storytelling. It's three men in a box trying to conjure up 160 years. It's got its own voice because it's, it's not necessarily following the ideas as they're described. It might have a different viewpoint. I think that makes it another character. It's amazing. Every night they stand up and whoop and cheer. This is wonderful because I feel really proud of it and I really enjoy playing it and the audience love it and we have a wonderful team and it's a joy to come in and, and play every night.